Welcome, this is the energy vibration, energy vibration for the month of October 2016. And this is a wonderful month. Welcome back to everyone. Thank you for your likes and your shares and for all your comments. I'm so grateful for everything. I'm grateful for the support. Please like and share these videos. And I want to say thank you for supporting. Um, as of this month, um, if you're um, interested in personalized reading for the year 2017, um, we are having a, a really um, 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 <laughs> cheap for the price of five and um, forty-five dollars. You can always order your um, year report. Uh, um, energy vibration year report for the year 2017. I want to say that this month of October is actually, um, September was just, um, it was just the month of cleansing. I named it the month of cleansing. And this month of, to of October is the month of um, the wheel of fortune, which is bringing actually success in your life. And I'm loving this energies because whenever the wheel of fortune energy comes in with a fool, it's like you have finished a journey and you're moving on to something that is so wonderful, so better in your life. And September was the month of cleansing. It was a lot of cleansing, a lot of stuff, a lot of endings happen in people life. It was a, a month of cosmic cleansing. I called it the month of cosmic cleansing and this month I give it the month of fortune so this is going to be a wonderful month for a lot of people and if you're open to the energy vibration in this month you will manifest so many things in your life which is so wonderful because whenever the wheel of fortune is here it's wonderful especially if you were vibrating on a very high energy vibration the wheel of fortune is always uh, um linking with jupiter and jupiter is one of the most luckiest planets so if jupiter is in your um associated birth chart you are a lucky person you just have to you're like the magician who has everything in their hands to make uh, miracles and and to make um um, um, iron and turn it to gold in your end because Jupiter is the planet. It, it is association with just good luck, destiny, fortune, prosperity. You know, it's a continuous cycle of life, which is so wonderful. And look at the month of October as a continuous um, cycle of life because it is because whenever the wheel of fortune comes in, it is just um, bring in karmas because whatever we do, whatever actions each and every one of us take in our lives, it is um, a time when um, the wheel of fortune comes in to really bring back good luck to you. So if you were giving out good energies and you were um, aware of the energy vibration that you were giving off, you know, it's a time of truth. It's a time of uh, purity. It's a time of innocence. And we have as the overall energies for the month of October is the number of the fool. And I love the energies of the fool because the fool is always the energy vibration of you just innocently walking away from something, going on a new journey, which is very good. And not most of us, uh, um, a lot of us are scared of coming out of things and moving on to something which is so much better for us in our lives. And this is just so wonderful. As I look at the month of October, it's four weeks, thank God, because, oh my God, we had a couple of months in this year that is five weeks, and September was five weeks. Sometimes it's good when it's five weeks, because this was a month of cleansing, but this month is four, four weeks, which I'm so happy about. And this month of September is the energy vibration of uh, 
um the wheel of fortune so that's a fire energy so it's cleansing also but it's bringing in it's taking away what no longer serve you and it's replacing it with good karmas whatever you had given out whenever the wheel of fortune is here it means changes is coming that means of whatsoever in life life is going to change to a more fortunate part it's a symbol of good luck entering in your life and your life is um, going to vibrate at a higher frequency that only brings in good fortune, good people, honest, positive people and situation in your life. I mean, this is the time when you know what's your destiny is. So cherish the moments in this month because it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time for each and everyone out there. It's like you're connected with the phoenix and the phoenix is um, the representative of the balancing your energies of the masculine and feminine and balancing the spiritual world, but also the materialistic world. This is the sign of the wheel of fortune. It's like, look at it as the phoenix and the phoenix is like rising from the ashes. So if you have been going through a rough time in your life and, you know, it's just um, karmatic lessons that you're learning, expect that the month of October is going to bring you wonderful blessings and fortune. As I look at the month, we begin the month with debt and I love the energy of that because it's transformation. So it's a month of transformation. So this is wonderful. What I also love about this month is the cosmic energy and the cosmic energy is serious and the sun. And what is Sirius? Sirius is a planetary system. Sirius is like we live in the Milky Way, okay? This universe is the Milky Way, but Sirius is a planetary system. And the people who connect to Sirius and are always very highly intelligent people, and they work with the healing and technologies to do healing for people. So this is just so wonderful. And, I'm, and, you know, this is a wonderful time to just um, deal with um, things in our lives, which is just so um, grateful. And, you know, at this time in all of us lives, uh, we are trying to find out... Uh, It's a time when we start to feel good about ourselves and see all the changes coming in our lives. So this is just a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, transformation, debt. I love the energy of that because, it, you know, it's like I'm feeling rebirth. So this is good. And the first week, the first week is a wonderful week. I love the first week because when a week begins with that, that means whatever that was holding you back, you're going to transform and you're going to work with organization. For some people in this week, it's going to be a week of achievement, but yet still it, it and um, by achieving something, that means something had to end so you can achieve this situation in your life, which is just so wonderful. So, you know, the energy of the emperor is here. Some people will have a situation with their fathers, but some people will have a situation that you have achieved something in your life. The empress is always achieving something. So it can be a personal journey for yourself, but it can be achieving something in the outer world, the external form. As we look at the second week, the second week has the energy vibration of the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is always working with other people. It's the, it's the energy of having, um, connecting to other people so that you can clear your karmas with other people. Because most uh, each and every one of us have situation to work with group karma or you have situation that you work with um, partners, like two persons, or, um, and most of the time we have group partner. That's why we work in big, huge organization, or that's why we work with a group of people, you know, people who work alone have less karma to clear. And this is the reason why this is just so wonderful because I'm loving this energy because at, in the second week, you're going to ask for inner strength. And whenever you ask for inner strength, you will get this inner strength. It's a wonderful week because the week is just so balanced with just wonderful energies because because the eye princess, the, 
you know, and the star. And yeah, we have so much different and um the emp the um temperance is here and temperance is also wonderful because it's an earth energy which is there in the week which is balancing and it is an earth week and this is just so wonderful because i love when the earth week energy comes in because you have a mixture of all the things you have fire earth and water so this is good as we look at um the third week, the third week has the energy of the devil and the energy of the devil is not really something dramatic is going to happen. It is just that there is something that needs to change. And, um, it's like you are, um, bounded to something in your life. And this energy vibration is really taking you to another step further. So, you know, these are wonderful times in our lives so that we can, you know, accept the energies and the changes that are here for us because they're wonderful changes that are coming in. And some people do not like changes, but without changes, you won't be able to go further in your life. And this is what a lot of people do not understand that they black, they block their own selves because they don't want to change. Changes need to happen and it always happens. So we need to open up to that energy vibration because it's going to be wonderful. As we look at the overall energies is going to be in the third week, the Empress, the Empress is an earth energy that is so good and hurt and water is wonderful because you know, it's emotion, but it can be good emotion, can be bad emotion, but yet still when the earth energies and water elements are here in a week, this is just fantastic because you know, you're grounding, you're clearing yourself and grounding at the same time, which is so beautiful. As we look at the fourth week, the fourth week has the energy of the fire energy and that is victory and success. I'm loving this because it's a month of the wheel of fortune with the fool. So a lot of achievement, victory and success, abundancy, a lot of that stuff is going to come in the week because the wheel of fortune is, it brings you luck in your life and a wheel of fortune is always the time whenever we are just so aware that karma really is there, you know, that people understand that whatever we do, it's always has to do with karma. And whenever this happen, it is so wonderful because, um, the karma that we carry around, we're actually clearing and whenever we clear it it's like you know good things always come back to you like if you give out good energies you always receive these good energies back and i'm loving this because it's positive energy and whenever we go in a sense of just using um, positive words, positive energy. We, the universe bless us with just abundance. Whenever we help somebody else, whenever we think good thoughts, because our thoughts make our reality. So if we're always going to think, uh, um, something bad and being jealous of someone, then that, that, that is going to what is going to reverse on you. If we keep positive thoughts and wish the best for someone else, what happened is that the universe radiate that same energy back to us. And this month of October is a very good time for you to connect to yourself and really realize what the thoughts that you're having and the thoughts you're sending out to the universe. Because if you're saying, well, I've been stuck for so long. Some people can be stuck because of some energies that they carry around or energies, negative energies that people send to you. But in the other form, if you pray and ask the universe or ask the universe to release you from the negative energies and that which no longer serve you in this month to release you, you will be released. It is a month where it's like magic. It's a magical month because whenever the wheel of fortune comes up, just like it says, the wheel of fortune. So whatever your karma was, it's going to bring it to you. So, you know, sometimes people, um, give the energy and say, well, this person or this people or this situation. No, sometimes it's what we ourselves creates in our minds, because whatever we recreate 
is now becoming a reality in the blink of an eye. So we need to always hold our thoughts very positive because um, the closer we get to um, the 20th, the 20th century, the um, 2020-32 and and the more you're vibrating at a higher energy vibration is the more that you realize that you your thought, your dreams and wishes are coming true and not everyone dreams and wishes will come true because the universe and source creator know exactly what was in your divine blueprint so what you can do also in this month is call up on the universe and ask them to reveal to you your divine blueprint because it's a wonderful month it's a month when you know dreams it's like a magical month i feel this to be one of the most magical month in this year, this karmatic year, because it's when all our dreams and wishes are going to be granted. So be careful what you ask for and you never get what you're not deserved, you know, you know, because everybody has and know what it is, is in their blueprint. So a lot of people will feel like changing jobs. A lot of people will feel like changing places. A lot of people will feel like I want to do something different. So it's going to be that sort of an energy. A lot of people are going to accomplish things. So if you have been working very hard on stuff for a very long time and all you're hacking for is just to release you and let you see even just ask the universe because we all always sit and what is happening is that this month has the energy we're working with the energy of the sun also because every month I, I let people know which solar system which beams you're working with and the sun the sun energy the sun is the source of all of everything on this planet. So this is like one of the most wonderful months that you could ever imagine because good things, abundancy is going to come to you. It's just wonderful. I want to say to everyone out there, enjoy the energies in this month because open up yourself. There is going to be um, a lot of miracles happening in this month. And even though this month of October is in a karmatic year, what I love about October, it falls with the wheel of fortune um, this year. I've never seen this in a very long time because I, I use the numerology to, to, to can calculate the energies. And this is just so wonderful because the energy vibration um, is so good in this month. Um, as I look in this month, the star is here several times. So the universe or your angels and guides are with us. So the people who gravitate to the angel, this is wonderful. It's a wonderful time to make your wishes and dream. The full moon was on the 30th of uh, September. And um, I mean, the changes are just going to come in. And for the people who works with the moon energy, because the moon is the feminine energy, whenever it's full moon or whenever it's half moon, it's nice to go outside and let the moon energy cleanse your aura so that you can vibrate at a high vibration. Another thing that is so wonderful for you guys is going to be the energy of the world. The world is here. And I love the energy of the world because it's always ending a cycle. The month of October is always the energy of um, the Harry's people and um, the, the, the Scorpion. And the end of October is always the Scorpion because it changes on the 22nd um, from um, the, the Harry's the Harris people to um no the Librans to the the, the um Scorpions. And what I love about this changes, which is very um good, is that you know, wonderful thing. The Librans are the balancing of the scale and, and the Scorpions are always the the people who really help other people to also work their karma. So, you know, this is a good month because it's the balancing of the scale, but also the energy of the Scorpions who are always there helping other people. And this time, the energies and the wheel of fortune is going to bring you luck. It is just your ability to see what is coming in and, and to accept that energy, what is coming in, because wonderful, beautiful energies are going to come in this month. 
I want to say to everyone out there, I'm wishing you a wonderful, fantastic month. It's going to be so wonderful. Accept the energies and use the energies of this month to manifest beautiful things in your life. And I want to say namaste until next month.